we do have a better portrait of the shooter coming into focus, and ABC's Martha Raddatz has been asking questions about him all day. Martha. Diane, the soldier is expected to face multiple murder charges in the coming days, which could carry the death penalty if he is convicted. That is also when his name will be made public, but we are learning compelling details about his life at a troubled army base and his four deployments to war zones. It was two months after terrorists brought down the World Trade Towers when the suspected shooter joined the army. He would spend much of the next decade at war as part of a brigade from Washington State. That brigade first deployed to Iraq in November 2003. It was back in Iraq in 2006 for 15 months, suffering major casualties in the final months of the tour. Back home in 2008, the soldier went through a full mental health screening to become a sniper. He passed. At some point, an official told ABC News the soldier suffered a mild brain injury after hitting his head, but was treated successfully. An official tells ABC News after his last deployment in 2009, the soldier, a husband and father of two, had difficulty readjusting to home life, though he eventually cleared routine mental health screenings. In December of last year, he headed for his first tour in Afghanistan. The base where the soldier spent much of the decade is Joint Base lewis McCord, once called the most troubled base in the military with a history of violence. In January of this year, 24-year-old Iraq veteran Benjamin Barnes killed a park ranger at Mount Rainier. Last year, Sergeant Dwayne Rader poured lighter fluid on his wife and set her on fire. A combat medic killed his wife and five-year-old son before killing himself after a high-speed chase. And Sergeant Calvin Gibbs was convicted of organizing and leading a squad of soldiers who killed Afghans for sport. The Department of Defense, the United States Army, United States Marine Corps are going to have to look at this again. Are we pushing our troops too far, too fast, and are they exposed to too much combat? We're also learning tonight that the family of the accused Army sergeant is being moved to Lewis McCord base for their own protection. Diane, they have been living off base. They too reeling, I'm sure, at this news. Thank you, Martha Raddatz.